Hi, this is Matthias Forsman with Tiger Stop. Today we're going to show you a how to change out your CON5 conversion kit and add in a tablet package as well. The first part to changing out your CON5 conversion kit is removing your old equipment. We're going to go ahead and start by pulling the power out that's located above or below, depending on your configuration, your red on off switch. We're going to disconnect your CON uh, controller cable and we're gonna disconnect our I.O. Now you can either have a six pin or an eight pin I.O. depending on if you have a standard interconnect or an AIK auto interconnect. We're also good, going to disconnect these cables from the controller itself. If you have downloading or a barcode scanner, you may have a nine pin serial connected. And we're gonna go ahead and pull these off and show you how to put the new equipment on. So when we're putting this back on, we want to be careful of these power connections here and the negative or the uh, ground going in. So we want to unplug our ground wire going to your motor first. Okay, we're going to slide it out just a little bit and we're going to disconnect our end sensors. They're marked one, two, one, two, and E. And that E is for your encoder, your red motor, black motor, and we're off. We have the amplifier. We're going to keep these. If you order just a CON5 conversion kit, your box will be a little bit smaller. This one has a CON5 conversion kit and a tablet package. Every CON5 conversion kit comes with a sticker with the RGA label on it. Please make sure you put your old amplifier and controller in that same packaging and ship it back to Tiger Stop. using the ground connection. There are three motor connections. We're going, going to use number one and number two. Number one is your red, number two is your black. And then we've got our encoder, limit two, limit one. So because of the orientation that we have here, we're gonna slide this in right here. That means we're gonna slide through this hole and this hole on the top. And the top. We wanna to be very careful not to hit any lines as we're coming in. side over for reattaching to the amplifier you always want the white end if you have an older cable this will be the blue end the black end will always go to the controller and we'll go ahead and set these up you'll want to do whatever cable management you have Your nine pin device will plug in next. And then your IO. Wow, 
lastly, we're going to plug in the power. Uh, note there is a cable tray here and there is a lock for your power. start with the base and the round piece. So this has slots so that your controller can articulate. We're going to take the two shorter bolts and those are going to go through. top left corner we're plugging the USB into the side this is the US powered USB hub that's going to connect anything else and your tablet power will plug in on the side uh, you want to make sure that we're clear of the slot right here because the lock pin will go through there then it's just two allen screws on either side 